Let him lead you and he will be yours forever. Hello, my name is Kata Vrishit. I'm dating and relationship coach for women. For the awesome high body women secrets, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I upload new videos every Wednesday and Sunday. And just before I will share with you eight steps on how you can let a man lead you so he would fall for you hard. Don't forget to take my free self-awareness test to find out are you behaving as a high value or a low value woman, which I will drop down in the video description box below. And um, recently I published my book, which is called Devoted Relationships. You can get it on Amazon. Focus, we're talking on how to be a high value woman from your core. So I highly recommend you ladies to get that book. And if you like my merch, it's goals and not the drama. As always, you can get it on my YouTube store or on my website. So in this video, I will talk about the eight steps on how to let a man lead you so he will be yours forever and ladies it works with every guy but it works especially really well with a very masculine man okay so now the step number one is let him initiate the dates no matter what is going on and no matter how handsome he is how charming he is no matter if he's giving you hints for you to initiate dates, do not do it. Stay patient, wait it out, and let him make the moves. Ladies, nowadays I find that guys trick us in our situations where we kind of hint at us to initiate the dates. Stay patient as it's not your job to do it. And if you'll actually fall for these tricks and you'll start to initiate those dates, a lot of times what happens is men keep expecting you to take the lead. And when you keep on taking the lead, even if he tricked you, slowly he will start to get turned off because he doesn't want to date another bloke, he wants to date a feminine woman. Therefore, even if he's tricking you, even if he's taking his time, even though you can see he's flirting with you and he's all interested, stay patient and let him make those moves. And if he's single, if he's interested, eventually he will do that. Number two, this is really important. Ladies, you need to let a man lead and initiate the speed of dating, the speed of a relationship, the speed of a proposal towards marriage. And the best way for you to speed things up if you want the things to go faster is to follow his lead and to mirror him. As soon as you will try to push things faster and you will start to initiate the speed of a relationship, you will see for yourself that the guy you're dating starts to feel pressured and he steps back. Because now again, you're putting yourself as a leader position and as a masculine male, he will get turned off. And ladies, I promise you that if you will just mirror him and follow his speed of dating, even if you feel like he's going too slow, once he'll start to get feelings for you because you're behaving in a feminine way, things eventually will start to go not only really fast, but they will also go really fast in a correct way loving way. Therefore, just follow his lead, mirror him, and just enjoy the slow pace moments with him until we start to get faster. Number three, where you should let the man take the lead is for him to initiate the introductions of the families. So he should be the one initiating, introducing you to his friends. He should be the one initiating introducing you to his family. Do not try to do that first because again, you will come across as too keen and as too masculine. It's a big turn off for men because we like a challenge. So once he initiates the meetups of his friends, he initiates the meetups of his family members, 
then you can either let him invite himself to your family occasions or if you feel like you're already there and you met everyone and he's mentioning that he wants to meet your family, well then you can invite him too. But definitely do not do that first because as a woman you will come across as the leader, as masculine and way too keen and you will turn him off because guys like what? Not the girl that's like on a plate pursuing but we like a challenge. Number four, do not do things that you do not like. So as you see in girls, I'm telling you that you should let a guy lead to take the speed. But when ladies, you don't have to agree with everything that he's telling you to do. You follow a man when you see he's doing the right thing and he's leading you the correct way. As soon as he starts getting a bit cheeky or a bit disrespectful and you feel like he's leading you the wrong way or you don't like something or you highly disagree with something and you just don't want to do it, do not do it. Never go against your morals and standards and always stand up for them. This is how you will show your character, you will show your boundaries, and you will show self-value and self-respect. And in return, he will respect you too for it. However, when it comes to boundaries, I mean like more like values and morals, rather than what type of movie you're watching or what type of food you're eating. You know, if you're throwing a tantrum over a pizza, then it's obviously a bit ridiculous. You know what I mean? Number five it's emotional control. Ladies, if you want a happy relationship, you must control your emotions. You just have to learn how to do it and you have to learn how to nail at it. This is when you're gonna minimize your problems from this to this. Therefore, emotional control is completely crucial. Now, this is what a lack of emotional control sounds like. You confronting him, you getting involved into an argument and going on and on and on about it for minutes, hours, sometimes days. You abusing him with words, you crying, you getting angry, you getting aggressive, you victimizing yourself, you blaming him for things. This is all lack of emotional control. If you will behave this way, maybe after the first time you're not gonna lose him, after the second time maybe perhaps not, couple more times and he will break up with you. Instead, what I would recommend you to do is if you feel you're in a situation with him that you are getting upset, over something that he did and you feeling like you perhaps are taking it personally, try not to react. Remove yourself from the situation and then you will come back home once you will calm down, assess the situation and think logically what just happened. Did he provoke you? Did he play a game on you? Did he disrespect you? Or did you just assume things and you let your mind go wild? And then after assessing the situation, if you feel like he crossed over the line, then instead of losing emotional control, you set an illogical boundary. Once you set an illogical boundary, he will have more respect for you because you looked at the situation in a mature, confident, high value and secure way. Therefore, automatically, no matter what happens, your value in his eyes will increase. Even if he's not gonna like the boundary, he will still look at you as more valuable. Yet, if instead of setting in a boundary and looking at things logically and keeping emotional control, you go wild, 
he will look at you as immature, he will look at you as a child, and he will start to lose respect and value for you. And quickly, your relationship will start to have huge, massive problems. Number six, where to let a man lead you is with the affection. I get this a lot from girls saying like, oh, but you know, the girl should be very affectionate and she should be the one to hold the guy's hand or she should be the one to cuddle him or she should be the one to kiss him. Ladies, this is not true because initiating affection is pursuing a man. And ladies, if he doesn't feel like having your affection, he's just not gonna have it. When we pursue men with affection, attention, initiating dates, chasing them, etc., we get really, really turned off. Cause simply you start to come across as too keen, the challenge is gone. Now, I'm not saying that you should never initiate affection. Yes, you can. Sometimes when you're already in a relationship, then you know that he really loves you and cares about you. And then you feel like it's the right moment to do it. Of course, you can initiate it in a loving relationship. However, if you are just starting to date, or if you are in a relationship where things are not really working out well, and now you start to initiate the affection, instead of him coming to you closer, very likely he will step back from you because it's you pursuing him. The best way to spice things up is to step back as a woman and let him be the pursuer, let him be the leader, let him think about you and figure out your ways on how to come after you. Ladies, I have a video, I'll put a link somewhere here, is how to fix a broken relationship. Number seven, let him lead the texting speed. So I know some guys text all day, every day. Other guys text a um, couple times a week. Other guys don't really text much at all, they just arrange the dates. If you feel like you are dating a guy that doesn't text you all day long and just drops in a couple messages here and there, do not try to text him more, thinking that if you will text him more, he will mirror you and will start to text you more back. I would say if you're dating a guy that doesn't text you as much, the only thing that you can do if you like the guy and if you feel like you can handle this type of attention, like you can live with that, well then all you can do is accept it. If you feel like you like a guy that texts you all day, every day, and you get all these essay messages, well then a guy that texts you just a couple times here and there may not be the right guy for you. You just simply need a guy that is more needy. My point is whatever guy you're dating, you let him initiate the speed of texting and you mirror him. I actually have a texting video for sale that you can get on my website. It's an oldie, but it's really, really good. So if you're stuck with texting and you don't know how to do it properly, I highly recommend you guys to get it. But I would just like to add one more point. Sometimes men act in a very needy way or we try to pursue you a lot through texting by sending you long essays. Be very careful with that because if you will reply to every single essay literally like this, your relationship might fizzle out very quickly as you will be going too fast. You're just gonna get to know each other way too fast without actually real investment, without him taking you on dates and talking about things. Because texting is like a low investment. He doesn't deserve to know everything about you just through text. He might as well not take you out at all which is what happens a lot. So be wary of that. Here comes the number eight. 
Ladies, never call yourself a high value woman or a queen. It sounds really, really silly and guys make fun of these type of girls a lot. I heard it so many times. I know everywhere we look on social media nowadays, everything is about you being a queen or a guy being a king or you being the prize or you being a high value woman. You can watch the videos, you can learn the advice, but you do not go to a man and you say to him, well, you paying because I'm a queen or open this door for me because I'm a high value woman or just behaving all arrogant and ultra confident when he gives you a compliment. If anything, being modest and humble always wins. Let him see for himself that you are a queen. Let him see for himself that you are a high value woman. He needs to decide that, not you. And he will decide are you high value a queen or not by observing your actions, by observing your behavior, by seeing are you chasing him, are you pursuing him, do you have a life, do you have your goals, are you controlling your emotions, do you have the right boundaries. By observing your behavior, he will decide are you high value or not. Not you going on a date and telling him I'm a queen. That's blunt and arrogant and I actually saw recently a man wearing this hoodie which says I'm an alpha. And what did I think about it? I laughed. It looked pathetic. I don't know an alpha man who would actually put a hoodie and say I'm an alpha. I'll decide are you an alpha or not by how you are treating me. Not you just saying I'm an alpha. That doesn't say anything, you know. So don't do this mistake, my queens. So ladies, if you liked this video, please press like. Let me know in the comments below what did you think. Join Greta's High Value Women School where we are all in the same boat learning how to be high value and bring out the best in our men. Follow me on my Instagram. My Instagram is called Ladies Relationship Coach. I also have a number of videos for sale, such as how to control your emotions, how to set healthy boundaries with a guy. I have a texting video, how to stay attractive via text. Games men play, have the knowledge and feel safe. So I highly recommend you ladies just to pop on my website and just to see what I have available there because I have plenty of many valuable things that you can use. So, um, and if you like to get some one-on-one -on -one with me or my team, you can also book me through my website, which is called gretabereshita.com. And I will put all the links in the video description box below. So, thank you so much for watching. Kisses from Dorset. Mwah.